ready to. <laughs> I know you're going to be the co co host of this one. All right. Today we're going to show you how to make medicine. Now, everybody knows the medicinal effects of ginger and this being the raw ginger root. But I'm going to show you how to process it, put it in a capsule, and enough for you to take it because ginger is really, really spicy. And if you don't like it, it you'll never take it. So, here's what I'm going to do I'm going to peel first, and I take the ginger root and then peel it. And I know. I know a lot of people are going to say that I've left a lot on the table by putting so much in the peelings. The peels I give to the chickens. It boosts their immune system, and ducks boost their immune system, and it encourages laying the eggs because it's spicy. So whenever I get it peeled, I'll show you what's next, other than the wrestling dogs. <laughs> All right, so now that I've got done peeling, here's the peels, and here is what is left, is the ginger. And like I said, I, I put peels out for the chickens and the ducks, and it, they get the good benefits just like we would. But now, what I can do with the ginger is I chop it up, and it doesn't have to be in no specific way or fashion. But I chop it up to about the size of my pinky fingernail I mean, from the knuckle out. And I chop all of it up and get it ready for the dehydrator. So when I get done chopping it up, I'll get back with you. All right, now that you got your pieces chopped up, and it don't matter just how irregular, just as long as it's chopped up a little bit small. You spread them out onto the dehydrator tray. And kind of get them out a little bit even, but I mean the dehydrator is going to take care of a lot of the work. And then, you turn your dehydrator on, let's see, 156 degrees Fahrenheit, and I run mine for 24 hours. So I'll see you in 24 hours and see what the end result is. Alright, so it's the next day, and we're going to see where her ginger did. And it's pretty well shriveled up, so we are going to take our ginger, put it into the bowl. Now if you can hear it, you can tell. It's hard. And then we'll take it over to what I conveniently call the grinder. We'll take it and put it in our little ninja food processor. Turn it till it clicks. Turn it on. Now let's take it. And knock it back off of the blades. 
the more you grind it, the finer it'll be. And you see, you have some, you'll, you'll end up getting a little bit of chunks, but that's to be expected. But you can put this in the capsules. And I'll show you how to do that just as soon as I can get it set up and set your camera up. I'll be back with you. Now that you've got your ground ginger, it's time to fill up the capsules. Now you can get the capsules online, and this is where we got them at Nature Right. It's relatively cheap, and it just pays to make your own medicine whenever you can because, like everybody knows, medicine is expensive. Now, I ain't got a clue as to where we got the uh, capsule refilling machine, but you could look on Amazon, eBay, I'm sure the several retailers have it, but because there's no name on it nowhere. But these are the pieces. You have the piece that you put the bottom of the capsule in, which is the big part. You put the top part, the small part, in here. And I'm going to show you how exactly to fill it to maximum capacity. And sometimes these little caps are hard to take apart, but you put the put the short top in there, put the long top in here. Now this holds This holds 24 capsules. So, you know, you could do yourself up some medicine pretty quick in this. If, especially if it's an herbal. And now, I don't know if you can see the capsule. There's just a transparent capsule. It's a gelatin based dissolvable it's easy on the stomach and these are zero size size zero and it come on in a bag of a thousand all right now that you've got your capsules inserted long part in the in this end short part in that end I use a teaspoon but you can do whatever and put some of your ginger in here. Scrape it around in the holes a little bit. Now the kit that I bought can't, comes with a card. And you gradually work your powder back and forth over the holes. until you fill up the holes. Then you can pour the excess powder off and then you take your little packer because you want to get the maximum benefit out of your capsules. So you get the packer and you pack the ginger in the holes and see now you that was only half full so you get your some again you can even use the card to scrape it out. And we can make like a crack dealer and fill some capsules here. And it's a painstaking, time consuming thing. But, you know. The benefits way outweigh whenever you try to make your own medicine and you say, I made I made that. You know, I made my own medicine, I grew my own ginger, I ground it, dehydrated and ground it, and made my own medicine. 
Now I'll put up a little a little frame here as far as what ginger is good for because I know some people are going to want to know what ginger helps. For me, it helps the arthritis and the inflammation. And as far as the running horse in the background, that's Hondo. <laughs> Now we've got it full. I'll scrape out the excess. And don't scrape out anything from your capsules. It's time to put the caps on. So you put the frame on there like this and you give it a push. Here's your 24 capsules filled up. Now to the, get it open, it's really easy. You just push on this and it discharges capsules for the most part. Hey, they all come out. You want to check each capsule and make sure it's good and tight. And then have you something to put it in an old medicine bottle or you can label a container named ginger and make your own med start your own medicine cabinet I mean there are a lot of herbs and fruits and vegetables and such greens that can be dehydrated and make your own medicine and I will leave some reference books the photo of some reference books available for you to research so you can do it yourself. You don't have to buy this stuff. Like turmeric, it grows in a root similar to ginger. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm going to because it's good for the arthritis, inflammation, upset stomach, acid reflux. So, it's just an all-around good thing, good knowledge to have. Whether you use it or not, it's good knowledge to have because you may need it one day. It is entirely possible to live off the land by yourself. Now, you may not have utilities. You may have to hand pump water or hand draw water, but it's entirely possible. So with this, I'm going to end my medicine video. Like, subscribe, share. Sh the thumbs up and the sharing is what helps us most. And don't forget to just go out on the limb, do your research, try it. Even if you buy ginger at the grocery store and peel it and dehydrate it and grind some up, it'll help.